It's 3.22 on the 2nd of December 2021 and this upload is with regard to the highly disturbing issue of individuals that um, persist in violating my privacy and proximity rights. Now, I find it very unusual that people in proximity where they have no right to be and where they have been causing offence um, are having difficulty bracing the fact that they are um, causing a discomfort or a disharmony or a disturbance in society for the past few years that is quite unhelpful. So um, that people would persist to um, violate proximity of um, this person um, while exacerbating their offences, I'm really concerned for their level of sanity and um, their mental health. Um, there are individuals that are persisting in a circumstance that is already quite serious. Now, um, individuals that are in my proximity um, are in violation of many codes and legalities and they are just um, raising a huge concern that I have for um, their well-being and their livelihoods to be so preoccupied with a person that they obviously haven't a shred of consideration for the consequence of um, insulting or injuring. Now, that people don't respect people's privacy or proximity is one matter, and that protection laws are not being respected is another matter. And as regard the um, development of individuals relaying uh, falsehoods and conducting false reporting and presenting false information, artificial evidence, as it's also known, is another serious matter. Now, as they say, there isn't anyone that can tell you what you're thinking, only yourself. No one can do your thinking for you and your thoughts are your own. These are all cliches, but people have become very smart in Tralee County, Kerry, Ireland, and um, they've been causing so much uh, smart behaviour with their intelligence. Um, um, excuse the sarcasm. Um, I'm concerned with how they've uh, decided to be persistent in their poor developments and poor behaviours. So this relates to wildlife, nature, privacy, information, etc. And we're all concerned during COVID about information and our identifications and our, you know, our right to privacy. So these people um, are a bit cheeky. Um, they think, um, you know, imposing on a person um, to facilitate further offences is easily conducted. Um, slandering a good name is quite serious. We all know that. And uh, we also know that the issue of false evidence is also quite prevalent in this matter. So it's a really embarrassing situation um, when professionals can't behave professionally. And it's quite cheeky. Um, when individuals impose upon a person um, high up or high down or low down, be he a priest or be he a preacher or be he a teacher, um, these individuals are taking liberties and um, not actually having the strength, courage, serenity or wisdom to present themselves courteously, but they have um, persisted in being quite cheeky um, when perverting my rights and my pro my privacy and my pr patronage and property. So this is what's going on in Tralee County Kerry and um, they've conducted a circumstance that's of a fallacy, of artificiality with no authenticity and I'm really concerned about the level of sanity. So the issue of people being in my proximity, I find quite discomforting. I'm wondering, have they homes to go to? I'm wondering, have they got their own families to mind? I'm wondering, do they have jobs that they have responsibilities to fulfill? I'm wondering, is there any concern about these individuals as repeat offenders in this state? I'm worried about the people that are potential targets for these people to repeat their offences against other than this person. So you know the cycle, it's a hate crime incident, it's a treasonous incident and I'm really concerned about the level of insanity of individuals brazening it in a circumstance where they've caused very dangerous circumstances already. So I'm wondering where the level of courage and bravery is in this situation. I don't particularly like being defamed, I don't particularly like other people claiming to know um, without knowing. I don't like superficial information. 
Um, I certainly don't think it's safe uh, for my rights to be disrespected or people to be spending my fortunes. I certainly don't think it's safe that my child is a missing person. Um, I don't think it's safe for guilty culprits of the past 15 years of tax evasion and sexual violence. I don't think it's safe for them to be um, repeating their offences against me. I think it's quite serious that anyone would think um, what I'm experiencing is tolerable. So I'm wondering about the United Nations. Seems that the democracy's um, honourable government hasn't proven to be courageous and brave. And I'm wondering about the liabilities in my proximity. Um, just not displaying or demonstrating common sense. So there are people that have been quite silly and um, they're silly has cost society and that is kind of um, senseless. So this entire situation is quite dangerous for all involved um, people that don't respect uh, what I'm discussing as a very dangerous issue for others as a possibility also and people disrespecting my uh, position, role, function, etc. after all the debt recovery and the sanity and sobriety recovery. I'm quite concerned about how individuals think it's safe to be um, obstructing and perverting this situation further than they've already done so. So this just questions their intelligence, really, doesn't it? And um, I'm wondering what the um, United Nations is thinking about my country disrespecting my royal patronage. And um, I'm wondering what the United Nations thinks about the Ombudsman for Children um, not addressing the fact that my son is legally missing or could be you know, experiencing further harm than he has been experiencing for the past four or five years. Where were the ombudsmen for children from my son? So the United Nations, I'm wondering, are you still defending the Declaration of Human Rights? Um, the United Nations, are you still, are you still representing the Declaration of Human Rights? And I'm wondering, is dirty politics still possibly happening? Is there dirty politics still going on? Because, um, in my humanitarian endeavours, um, all that tax evasion that was um, addressed. I'm wondering what they're, um, what they're, uh, you know, what they're surmising from this situation as, you know, a, a violation of my human rights. So I'd appreciate the United Nations defending the Declaration of Human Rights. It's pretty important, and the people in my proximity. I hope, um, I, I hope they have uh, the knowledge and good sense. To know the difference between right and wrong with all rush all, all that you know russian roulette um tactic that has been played in this very careless situation and repeat offenders um with careless behavior and no qualifications that have only damaged society i i really hope everyone's thinking properly but most of all i hope the united nations is still respecting that big big um important document called the Declaration of Human Rights for all law-abiding citizens. And um, it's a sad sign of the times that um, individuals are using um, recent developments against the premise of truth and justice. Um, people of artificial information and superficiality are just lowering the standards in society and that makes it a sad sign for the times. Of the times, excuse me. Mm.